nice little castle some beautiful architecture welcome back to the channel Macman and Pie Master General and today we've traveled down to York York is a place I've never been before always wanted to come here so I thought I'll bite the bullet this morning get up early get in my car and take the two-hour drive down here so let's have a good look at York might be going up there there is an entrance on the other side but it means climbing up steps right the way up that hill but on the other side are we gonna do it let's find out and here we are stood right outside the castle museum look at those pillars don't know whether it's open or not but the pantry box there drink eat shop and there is york castle museum these glorious buildings on the perimeter of this nice grassy verge there's a way into the castle up there I don't know if you can see that in the distance. But uh, I don't think I'll be climbing up there. Let's have a, look, a quick look at the York Castle Museum. We'll go over and have a closer look at that wonderful building over there. Pie Master's heading towards the museum. You won't find pies in there, buddy. Not really sure what that is. <laughs> no, that's the, uh, I don't know, giant robot, something I've, I've seen somewhere in a comic book or a cartoon. But, but look at the size of this. This does look splendid. Don't know whether it's a library or what. Or the town hall perhaps. Nice looking building, that's for certain. Usual netting, stop pigeons sitting there and crapping all over the steps. That's what pigeons do, we've all got to go, haven't we? Yep, indeedy. Looking forward to getting into the town centre because I've seen the shambles so many times on the internet and other people have been and filmed it and I've never been here and it's only two hours away from where I live so by my heading towards the castle I'm not walking up there I'm not going up them steps that's a no-no look at this you even get a history of the place embedded in the pavement God, man. As you can see here, 1190 York's Jewish community massacred at Clifford's Tower. God. Wow. Henry III orders the building of Clifford's Tower. Good God, now this is bloody interesting, isn't it? Clifford's Tower houses the Royal Treasury. Henry III and Philippa of Hainault. Marion York Minster, which is the second issues charter to York. York Minster completed in 1472. And well, there you go. Guy Fawkes born in York. And so many people now wish to God he succeeded. I know I do. In Fairfax House, which is a Georgian townhouse museum. Glorious. Also big. Right, heading down this way now. I'm not sure. There's Rustique. Nice little bistro. Eight quid to get into this art gallery. Yeah. A little tiny bit of a castle. How much was that castle, Liz? How much was that castle? It was uh, nine pound. Nine pound. Yeah. Here we have a Van Gogh immersive experience in this beautiful little church. No idea how much this is going to cost. Everything seems to be quite expensive. The car park was six pound for two hours. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Look at this, Jorvik Viking experience. There's the entrance and somebody inside dressed in traditional Viking garb, like this young lady here. Look at that, look at that. A whiskey shop, very nice. Ooh, what's that in the distance? That's not York Minster. <laughs> 
quite a busy place, as you can see. It's also very expensive, which I'm quite surprised about. But it's worth it. I think so. Give me a load of the three tons. That's quirky. Look at them windows. Absolutely brilliant. I'll pop it there for a pint a bit later on. Look at the steps. That's the strangest entrance I've ever seen to a pub. That looks awesome. Oh, most of the architecture in the buildings here. Levi's. Okay, keep going, keep going. Also, there's going to be a lot to look at in York. Absolutely no idea where the Shambles is and other very famous places. Quick town. Mm, Copper Gate Clinic, Exodus Skin Tightening, Skin Tightening. I can do with some of that. I'm lucky walking around and see what we come across because I don't know York at all. But I know it's bloody splendid. Bloody steak in your head. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Come on. Ooh, was the florist, but next door, look at that Grand Opera House, Grand Opera House, look at that building. Clifford Chambers, that's what they are. And next door, look at all these. And there's Drift, purveyors of fine food and speciality coffee. Photon Company, not to be uh, confused with Photon. Charles me, she's the Photon man. The York Dungeon, wow. I don't know how much that costs to get in. <laughs> what a fabulous building. Very nice too. I'm going to go over a minute and have a look at the... It's really cost to get into York Dungeons. Friends meeting house. It's up yonder. But this over the road particularly caught my eye. Notice this as we drove into the car park. What a brilliant building that is. Now, if you're into architecture like me, well, York seems to be a great place to come and view it. Not sure what it is, however. It's certainly large. I don't know whether they were at once bell towers. And a bus gets in the shot. Yeah, that looks bloody awesome. Morning. I'm seeing a sign there. Stone Roses Bar. Are the Stone Roses from York? Guess they've got to be. Let's put that up there. Well, that's their bar anyway. Down this gorgeous little cobble street. Stone Roses. Must be Yorkshire. York. Sorry, not Yorkshire. Yes, Gate. Right, that's the direction we're heading in. Hopefully that's uh, more or less slap bag in the centre of York. Well, you can see the shambles. I know York Minster is this way. But I've just seen a sign. So let's get closer down there. And have a bloody good explore. Oops, what was that? Loving the cobbles, loving the cobbles. Let me get to that. Oh no. Have a look up there. It's not the right time, I know that for certain. It's not mad busy, but quite a few people knocking around. Better march about it about uh, what, 10 to 11, 11 o'clock. Near midday. Raging money. This looks interesting down here. Get closer to it. Big gold clock. Hmm. Looks like the Tudor that once was. Had the wood stripped off or painted over. Which is a shame. But over there, look at that. St. Martin's. Loads of little side streets. 
and get a load of some martins. Wow. Wow. <laughs> ah, that clock is right. Well, it's all gated off, unfortunately. We'll be going in there then. Ah, oh, shame. What a shame. Digging the gargoyles. Ugly. Ugly. They probably think they're astonishingly good looking. Nope. And there's York Mansion House. There's St. Helen Square. Harkers. Here. The Ivy. That's a proper coffee shop. Splendid. Harkers. Alien Gin. Ooh, beautiful pub. What do you call a pub? Oh, look at berries over there. Let's get closer to berries. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Pink! Which once was the savings bank, as you can see underneath, carved in stone. Look at berries here. A quirky little building. Very small, but perfectly full. Outside, St. Helens Stingate. Oh, pigeon here, not the camera out my hand. Easy tiger. Lakeland. Now then. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Where's Pie Master? Oh, he's over there. We're going to wander down there because uh, I think that's a minster in the distance there. It's been reliably informed by a local. The shambles is in this direction. Look at Hobbs of London. Pretty special lads. <laughs> I have definitely so many different streets. I guarantee we're going to have a hell of a job finding the car again. <laughs> but I don't care. I must have streamed ahead. He's looking for the shambles. This is the market square we're approaching. Don't know whether there's any sort of market on. We're going to have a look. Is that lady in the pink coat there? And her husband. Just been chatting to them off camera. Come all the way down to Scotland to see York. And she's told me it's £18 to get into the Minster. She's cut, man. <laughs> so I might not be going in to film. I might do, I don't know. Let's see how I feel, like. Okay. Heavens above. Look at trees. They've all been locked back. Looks like spirits. Ah, Roman bath. Fabulous, yeah. Continuing this direction. <laughs> Bye, masters. The Scottish people now. What's this big gold thing here? Plenty of little churches. Plenty of them. What's Golden Boy doing here? Actually, it actually is. Yorkshire roast secret recipes. Okay. Well, we've arrived at Shambles Market. Shambles is just down here. So a quick look at this little tiny market first. Mmm. Great for flowers. And phone repairs. And crystals, crystals. Oh, I love crystals. They don't have any magical powers. I just like crystals. And look at this fella. Girton Henry's. Wow. Beautiful breakfast. Beer battered fish and chips. Oh, isn't that fantastic? And the market stretches out over here. In something grander. I can only imagine that. These are shambles We're walking down there in a minute. I'll quick look around this market first. Oh, what a gorgeous building that is. Oh, look down there. It's fab. As you can see, it's quite a sizable market. 
It's not in full swing yet, but there's certainly plenty to do. To look at and buy. Shambles Corner over there. But look at this place, the Parlour Maid. Cafe and Scone House. What a building that is. Mm -hmm. Fab. Good baked goods. Baked goods. Pies. So from here, this is the famous shambles. Yep, this queue, believe it or not, is for a little shop that sells ghosts. They sell little ceramic ghosts. And these are very, very famous. As you can see, there's a lot of people queuing out waiting to get in. Oh, the Shambles Sausage and Pie Company. <laughs> We're in there in a minute. <laughs> Just past all this lot. There we go, look at the queue, look at the queues. And this is what they're waiting for. York Ghost Merchants. There you go. That's it. Ghosts. How long has this place been here? Uh, we've been here nearly five years now. Five years? I've seen it online before and the queues are always massive. Uh, this is quite short for us today. Is it? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Might join you later on. Thanks for the info. Thank you. Oh look at this. God. Here's the ghost shop. Little shot. Yeah, do you hear that? Here's the ghost shop. It's really famous. It's a little surviving. They look like elongated thimbles. But they're ghosts. God, it's just brilliant, isn't it? Earl Grey tea rooms, there you go, Baz. Earl Grey. York Vikings. Oh, bit of chain mail, bit of chain mail. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's someone there scowling at me because I've got a camera. And what is she holding? A camera. <laughs> Cheesecake guy. Gonna love cheesecake. Mm. Onion House Korean restaurant. Very nice too. Never tickle a sleeping dragon. I never would. Look at these, look at these. I need one. I need one. Some fantastic little shops down here. Oh, look at them. Oh, and it smells divine as well. Wonderful. The shop that must not be named. Okay. What's that there? Ah. Weird. I don't know what they are. All them are wands. Wands? Oh, yeah, oh, I better get one, hadn't I? <laughs> Wanna see some magic? Wanna see some magic? Spells. Spells. <sighs> Whoa. And there's another one over the road. Yeah. The shop that must not be named. There's all sorts of weird artifacts. Hippo oh, grip. <laughs> Amazing man. Just around the corner from the Royal Shambles. This nice little courtyard. Teas and coffees, crumbles, burritos, and we're back out to the market. Fab. Oh yeah. And the golden fleece is hanging above. Look at that, that's the Golden Fleece next door to York Gin. They're very sagging, but glorious. Tudor! Could be a road this. What's that over there? It's gone all up. He spotted this. Donuts. Mini donuts freshly made. It's not open. So, there's Barclays instead. Not another donut. Never mind. Let's come down here, which is very, very quiet. You can see the uh, turquoisey colour at the end. That's like some sort of Jamaican bar. Oh, it's massive and it's gorgeous, man. 
I want to come back here and stay for a couple of days. But look at this. Stonegate's original teddy bear shop. Oh. I'm just getting some pickies. What a glorious place. Oh, look at this lot. The wolf on the branch. All <laughs> sorts of teddies. The old star in down there. Ah, now then. Look at Mulberry Hall, 1434. It's now Cathy Wolfart. Not being rude. White stuff. That's an odd name for a shop. <laughs> Toast. There, in the distance, you can see York Minster. And that's the direction we're heading in. Still debating whether to actually go in there or not. Oh, look at this, look at this. Wow. <laughs> Various horns, swords, helmets, helmets. An Iron Man, bit out of place there, Iron Man, but this is going in, I'm going to go in as well, have a look around, this looks pretty good. <laughs> Samurai! Driving down another one of these wonderful little streets, opens out into York Minster. That is breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. Wow. Got to admit, that's pretty spectacular. As the architecture goes, I think that's the finest I've seen to date. And the entrance is that way. Let's go and have a look. There's the entrance. We are going in. We've got to now we're here. One last look outside at the splendour of this enormous minster. Mm. As you can see, we're now inside the old minster. And it is absolutely glorious. going to see as much as we can. The only place we're not authorised to go is the tower. We're not going in the tower, so... Fantastic, man. We can go into the crypt. So we'll be heading down there at some point. The carvings on the wall. How oh, wonderful. Light a candle. I may well do that. In this wonderful room is dedicated to all the members of the York Rifles who lost their lives in the wars. What an amazingly fitting tribute. Infantry and the North Saskatchewan Regiment Canadian Army. Beautiful.
several million to do that window and do a telescope on it inside and then put it in the tree. Okay, now we need to look into this area, which is called the sand the pipes. Wow. And the sand pipes is where the conversion period is done. Remember we said that in sensible sign. It's quite low. This is the crypt. Information about the history of it. The remains of a Roman fortress. Well, well, well. It's down there. Doomstone. What's this all about? So Ice in the first Norman Minster shows a mouth of hell, a gruesome scene of lost souls, slowly pushed into a boiling cauldron by devils and demons. Good grief. Amazing.
just wow. It doesn't take your breath away. There's something wrong. This is where our York adventure all began, and this is where it ends. Macmobile. Mmm. So, if you enjoyed the trip around York, give me a like. If you watched the video, give it a like. Much appreciated, and that really helps the channel. So until I'm out again, Macman out, Pyman's waiting in the car, and I'll see you next time I'm out and about. Take care all from York.